Hello, my name is Jarl Apperqvist and I'm the CTO at the Crosser. And in this video, I will show you an overview and demo of the Crosser Edge Streaming Analytics solution. So with this solution, we enable use cases where you want to collect and act upon data close to the sources. And in our case, the sources are typically machines or process lines of some sort that generates data that you then want to use either locally by connecting machines together, um, analyzing data from a machine and use it on some on-premise system, store it or send it to some, some system that you have on-premise or to deliver machine data to the cloud. So some examples of use cases that are enabled with this technology are, are shown here. So starting with condition monitoring, which is, which is about collecting data from machines and delivering this data to the cloud. But instead of delivering the raw unfiltered data directly to the cloud, you can apply edge computing next to the machines to filter out the relevant data, remove unnecessary data that you will not need in the cloud, maybe aggregate the data, normalize data formats and so on, so that you get a minimum amount of data cleaned up before you send it off to the cloud. And thereby you can reduce the cost of your cloud services, both by reducing the amount of data but also potentially by bypassing some of the more expensive cloud services that would be needed if you connect the machines directly. So instead of going through one of the normal entry points that you would use in the cloud, you can deliver the data directly from the edge to a storage system in the cloud and thereby save the cost of all that entry level or entry point system that might be needed in the cloud. Um, second use case is a pure on-premise use case. Now cloud is involved here. So this is, is about collecting data from machines and use it in some on-premise system. Could be just a storage system where you want to store data for further use, or it could be to trigger, analyze the data and trigger some action in an on-premise system, like triggering a work order in an ERP system based on some conditions that you see from the data coming off the machines. The third use case <clears throat> is about connecting machines together. So using data from a machine, analyze it with some algorithm, and then either trigger some action if it's an anomaly, stop a machine, remove faulty parts, and, and so on. But it can also be used to optimize the performance of the machines by applying some algorithm to analyze the data and then come up with more optimal settings for the machines. The fourth use case is about generating KPIs based on the machine data to be presented on, for example, a dashboard locally on the factory floor so you can get an immediate insight into the performance of your machines uh, running in the factory. And then the final use case, um, we use non-machine data. So it's not just machine data that you can analyze. In this case, we use a camera as a sensor, and then you can apply some vision algorithm to detect, for example, faulty products and make sure that they are removed from the production line so you don't waste resources further down the line. So this is just an example of of where you use non-machine data, but still apply edge processing, which in this case makes a lot of sense because video feeds produce a lot of data that you typically don't want to send any further than you need. So it's better to analyze it as close as possible uh, to the source. So these are just some examples to give you an idea of what you can do with this type of technology. So let's take a look at the Crosser solution starting with some key principles that we have used when designing this uh, solution. And the first one is about self-service simplicity. So we have tried to reduce as much as possible the complexity that you typically see in these kind of solutions. And specifically, we want to minimize the need for software developers when implementing these kind of industrial IoT use cases. And the way we have done that is by providing a library of pre-built modules for common functionalities, and then you combine these modules into uh, graphical flows using a, a design tool um, where you connect modules together into a sequence to specify the operations that you want to apply on your data without writing any code. So this is the starting point, but then of course we know that we will never cover every possible use case with these pre-built modules. There will always be specific things that are not covered. So we don't want to limit our customers uh, in terms of what they can do with this tool. So we want to provide full flexibility in terms of adding custom functionality into the Crosser solution. And there are several ways you can do that. You can run your own code as part of, of a processing flow. 
You can write your own custom modules and add to the library. Um, you can use your machine learning models that you have trained using some machine learning framework. And then we make sure that you have the same framework available at the edge so that you can use your pre-trained model and apply it on live new data coming off the machines. And then finally, we have also tried to address the life cycle management of these solutions, which can easily become very complex when you have lots of distributed nodes where you process data. So we have tried to simplify also that part of the process by providing tools where you can operate on groups of nodes with a single operation. So as soon as you want to make the same kind of change over multiple nodes, you can do that by combining nodes into groups using a flexible grouping scheme so that you can address a whole group of nodes with a single operation to uh, implement new logic, change settings, um, and whatever. And always doing that with enterprise-grade security so that you know that you're addressing the right nodes and it's the right people that do the changes. So the crosser platform has two main parts, where the first one is the crosser node. And this is the software that you install in the edge location. So this is where all the data collection and processing happens. Um, so collection of data, transformation of data formats, we make no assumptions on data formats coming in, so we can work with any type of data structures coming into these edge nodes and then transform it to whatever format you need, both for processing internally, but also for delivering results to whatever systems you connect to on the output. And then you can implement different types of logic, generate actions, could be triggers, alerts, integrations, and so on. And then you have a lot of connectivity options for delivering the result to different output systems. And the key thing here is that the Edge Node software is a generic software platform. So you install the same software in every Edge Node, independent of the actual use cases that you actually want to run in these Edge Nodes. And then you use the second part of our solution, which is the Crosser Cloud service, which is hosted by Crosser for our customers. So this is the, the user interface that our customer have access to, to manage and work with this solution. So in Crosser Cloud, you have two main components. One is the Flow Studio Design Editor. So this is the, the visual design tool you use to build these flows. So this is where you have access to the module library connect them together into processing flows to define the type of logic or, or processing that you want to apply on your data. The second part is the edge director, which is the node management tool. So this is where you decide where you want to deploy these algorithms or flows that you have designed. This is where you define groups of nodes so you can easily operate on many nodes with single operations. It also helps you with uh, maintenance like uh, version control of flow so you can easily keep track of what is running where and when you make updates. You can easily upgrade any number of flows that run a certain version to a new version of your logic where you have introduced some new functionality. Because we know that in most cases, these setups are never static. You start somewhere and then over time you want to introduce new functionality, add new data sources, improve your algorithms and so on. So we want to make all of this management as simple as possible um, so you, you can easily live with this tool for a long time and manage your, your um, setup. We have also tools to help you manage other resources that might be needed in these edge nodes in addition to the flows that you design. There might be other things that you need to be available in those edge nodes when you execute these flows, like uh, machine learning models, uh, code files that you want to run as part of the flow, templates, uh, let's say you want to use an XML template and fill in some data from, from the machines and then deliver that to an ERP system. Those kind of templates are also uh, managed centrally through our resource library. So there you can upload any of these resources that you need and then just reference them when you build a flow. And then when you decide to deploy a flow into an edge node, we make sure to download all these additional resources into that edge node as well. So the flow is sort of the, the high level abstraction that you need to keep track of, and that is what you deploy into edge nodes. And then we make sure that everything else is, is um, managed uh, around that. And we call that edge ML ops. And the final thing is the central module library. So all the modules that you use in the flows are hosted in Crosser Cloud and are downloaded together with the flows when you decide to deploy a flow into an edge node. And this means that we can, at any point in time, add a new functionality to the system 
by just adding new modules to the central library. And then this new functionality immediately becomes available for use in any of the edge nodes that you have already installed without having to upgrade the edge node software. And the same is, is true if you decide to build your own modules and add to the library. These new modules will also be uploaded centrally and be available on any of the edge nodes that you have already installed. So the central piece of the tool when it comes to building use cases is the Flow Studio design tool. So this is a visual drag and drop tool where you have access to the module library. You combine these modules into flow by, flows by connecting them to specify the sequence of operations you want to perform on your data, starting with an input module, then some modules to do something with the data, and ending up with one or several output modules to deliver the result to wherever that is needed. Could be an on-premise system, could be another machine, could be a cloud service. So the whole idea with these graphical uh, flows is to allow as many people as possible to help implementing these kind of use cases. And if you look at the typical industrial IoT use cases, there are several skill sets that you might need in order to implement that kind of functionality. So if we start on the input side, there you connect in most cases to machines to access data. So here you might need automation engineers that understands uh, where, how to access the data and what data is available. In the middle where you do something with the data, you might need a data scientist to help out to get that right. And on the right-hand side, in many cases, you deliver the result to an IT system. So you might need IT skills in order to get that right. And with this kind of visual design tool, uh, it's a lot easier to involve these different skill sets uh, and collaborate around designing one of these use cases without having to write code. None of these need to be software developers, even though you can include software developers as well if you want to apply your own custom code as part of, of one of these flows. The Crosser node uh, is a lightweight processing engine that you install uh, in the Edge. It's typically installed as a Docker container, so you can install it on any platform where you have Docker. It could be a gateway or server or a virtual machine, and it can be anywhere. It doesn't have to be at the Edge. It could be somewhere on-premise where you have a Docker environment, or it could even be in the cloud if you need to process data there. For Windows machines where Docker might not be uh, the most natural choice, you also have the option of installing it as a Windows service on those platforms, still getting the same functionality as you do with the Docker uh, version. The actual um, runtime that we use is built on top of .NET Core, and the whole Edge node has a very small footprint. So it's, it's around 100 megabytes in size, which means that you can install it also on very lightweight devices like gateways and so on. So you shouldn't be limited by the crosser node when you decide where and, and on what platform you want to install this. It's, it's your where you need to have data capturing and processing that should drive at the location of this software. Still, it scales up to very high performance. So on the right hardware platform, you can get beyond 100,000 messages per second on a single node. So very high performance and also very low latency. So you can have millisecond latency from input to output through one of these edge nodes, given the right platform to run it on. So that's uh, a quick overview of the Crosser solution. And with that, I will switch to a demo and then I will uh, leave the presentation and switch to my browser instead.